Hey everyone, it's Donovan here, and we have a great show lined up for you today. I want to talk about something that I've always found fascinating, and that's learning who my ancestors are. I would like to thank today's sponsor, MyHeritage, the number one family history service. I've always believed that knowing your roots is crucial. It gives us a sense of belonging and understanding of our heritage. That's why I decided to collaborate with MyHeritage. They make discovering your family's past not just easy, but also incredibly fascinating. Let's jump right in. Here's how I started building my family tree. I've added my grandfather right here, and look, I can even add a photo of him. Now, if we zoom out, you can see my entire family tree. Parents, grandparents, great-grandparents. It's amazing to see it all mapped out like this. With my heritage, I have access to over 19 billion historical documents. It's like a treasure trove for anyone interested in their family history. And there's this cool feature called Instant Discoveries. Just a click and boom! I added an entire branch to my tree. It's that simple. I also found out that my first cousin was using the service as soon as I signed on. Check out this old document I found about my great-great-grandfather. And guess what? I even found relatives I never knew I had. Now this is one of my favorite features. I uploaded this old black and white photo of my ancestors. And look how my heritage brings it to life with color and clarity. It's like they're right here with us. Going through this journey with my heritage was eye-opening. I've learned so much about where I come from. And it's been full of surprises. If you've ever been curious about your own family history, I highly recommend giving my heritage a try. Sign up for a 14-day free trial and enjoy all the amazing features my heritage has to offer. If you decide to continue your subscription, you'll get a 50% discount. I've included the link below and in the pinned comment. Hey guys, I'm Lincoln. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Dread Captures. We have put together an awesome video for you this week. Let me know your favorite clips down in the comments. As always, please like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I'll see you in the video. The woman who recorded this original footage eventually showed it to the police. Interestingly, the police had two different opinions. They thought it could be either a dog with a lion cut or a donkey. They eventually reached out to Fish and Wildlife and the response they received from someone who was quite certain is that it was some type of big cat. They theorized it might be a mountain lion with possible mange. But other than that, everyone is pretty much dumbfounded about the true identity of this animal. But let's be honest, this looks like a lion, an African lion. The original uploader explained that the white stand next to the animal is an archery target, approximately 40 inches tall with the middle rail at around 20 inches. The animal's shoulder appears to be just slightly above that 20 inch mark, which would make it unusually small for an African lion. But at this point it's hard to say. Fish and Wildlife plans to re-examine the footage. Now for a little twist, a person in the comments said they worked at a zoo during college and this is undoubtedly a malnourished African lion, which is kind of what I see too. If you look at its like hip bones in the back, you can definitely tell that it's underfed. But then again, I guess that means it could be an underfed mountain lion. And what do we think about the mane around its neck? Man, I just don't know. This video got a ton of attention. Footage was shown from a security camera on a back deck. We see a woman just letting her two dogs out, enjoying the day. You can see her house backs to the woods, so she's not worried about her dogs running off. Once she decides she's going back inside, she goes to tie up the Rottweiler. Out of nowhere, a massive moose bum rushes her. With no hesitation, the dog leaps to her rescue. And distracted, the moose set its sights on the dog. It gives off a swift kick before taking off. The dog chases after the moose before coming back to the house like, I got him, mom, I got him. Did you see? Just a great dog. Now, I know moose can be aggressive. We've showed videos here similar to this one. The one main difference is that this moose launched its attack in a private backyard. Generally, you see them more apt to fight and protect their young or when they're just startled in the wilderness. 
Anyhow, great video. Share any moose stories or dog hero stories you have with everyone in the comments. In an unexpected twist, a member of the Ghosts of London Facebook group shared a photo that not only piqued curiosity, but also sent shivers down the spines of those who saw it. This dimly lit snapshot from the member's youth revealed a mysterious figure lurking in the background. While many initially missed it, once you spot this eerie presence, you can't unsee it. The person who posted the image chose to remain anonymous but shared an intriguing backstory. They said, my mom and I were going through old childhood photos and we stumbled upon this one. Initially, due to its darkness, no one paid much attention apart from me. I got chills and my hair stood on end. When the photo's brightness is adjusted, the figure becomes even more noticeable. It takes on a vaguely human shape with its eyes appearing to glow. This unexpected find sparked a flurry of speculations and theories among group members. Some believed it could be a friendly spirit perhaps resembling the child's late grandmother in a ghostly form. And that's a very positive way to look at it. However, the majority of people felt the opposite. Many said they could sense an evil energy coming from the figure and suggested it might be some type of supernatural being with potentially sinister intentions. Let me know what you guys think about this. This is definitely a creepy, creepy photo. Our next clip comes from a man exploring the woods near his home, unaware that he had captured something many dream of seeing, the legendary Bigfoot. Take a close look at your screen, and you'll notice a tall, eight to nine foot creature with dark fur standing just in front of the woods, if you really use your imagination. The original uploader said, look, it's staring right into the camera. Yeah, I don't know. With anything extraordinary skepticism arises, and I am definitely in the camp that doubts its authenticity, but what's your take? Some are saying that it could be someone in a costume, or it's just a regular plain old hoax. It almost looks more like a pig man to me. And also, it's rumored to be eight or nine feet tall. I feel like this thing looks like it's about 20 feet tall. I don't know, share your thoughts. A kayaker in Hawaii is having a great day until he almost loses his catch to a great white. You can see the shark has trailed the fish all the way up to the guy. I think this goes without saying that this could have ended way worse. Great whites don't even need to eat you to kill you. And while shark attacks are rare and they don't consider us traditional food, unfortunately, great whites do enough damage with a bite, even if they spit you out. This is another clip of the same guy, I'm pretty sure. You have got to be kidding me, son. I pray at least this wasn't the same day. If so, get all your body parts in the boat, pull in your lines, and let's paddle on in and live to fish another day. That's definitely the same guy. Same guy, same body of water, but I don't think it's a great white this time. I tried to pause it because it looks like a bull shark or tiger shark but it was hard to tell with such a short clip. One thing's for certain, this guy's pushing his luck. A city office building set up a camera to watch this mama hawk care for and raise her babies. Watch as they progress through the ages. It shows her feeding them. Man, they're getting big quickly. In a blink of an eye, thanks to the internet, we have almost four fully grown hawks. And that last hawk at the end of the video that's flapping its wings is the last one to leave the nest. A Facebook group was set abuzz with an eerie image that has gripped its members' attention. Taken in the secluded woods of Lansing, Michigan, this photograph has ignited many conversations about the supernatural. The homeowner who shared the image explained a peculiar pattern. Their trail cameras, situated in a remote part of their property where hardly anyone ever ventures, had been triggered multiple times over several weeks. Yet, whenever they reviewed their footage, they found nothing. 
except for a few mysterious black orbs floating around. Then, on one fateful night, the motion detector was activated once more, and the camera captured another round of images. But this time, something far more ominous was caught on camera. A figure dressed in white, walking through the dimly lit woods, flanked by two orbs on either side. The eerie image compelled other group members to come forward with their own tales of the unexplained. One story shared by a member recounted a chilling pre-dawn experience. While on their way to work, they caught a glimpse of what seemed to be a ghostly woman in a flowing gown. She was guiding a mother duck and her ducklings toward a cemetery pond. Intriguingly, a few days later, this member learned from co-workers about a reportedly haunted house on their route, one that had long been associated with similar ghostly sightings. The burning question now is, could this shadowy figure in the Michigan woods be another appearance of this ghostly woman? Or might there be a more ordinary explanation? You be the judge. A security camera catches footage of this big German shepherd standing guard over his property. On the left of our screen, we see something appear. Yeah, that's a wolf. And unfortunately, our buddy the German Shepherd is chained up. The wolf approaches and the Shepherd stands his ground, but ultimately tries to retreat. The wolf gives a half-hearted effort to corral him, then just gives up. I wonder what made him do that. Most likely after sizing the Shepherd up, he figured it wasn't worth potential injury. I'm glad they went their separate ways. On a side note, I thought the worst when I saw this. There's a video of an attack floating around that almost looks identical to this, but doesn't end this well. Let me know if you've seen it. A little past three in the morning, a home security camera records something really strange. What looks like a shadow seems to crawl, almost sneak up the front steps of their house. If you slow down the video footage, you can get a clear view of what's happening. A lot of folks in the online comments are buzzing, saying this is solid proof of what's known as a shadow person. Now, for those who aren't familiar, shadow people are this mysterious topic that pops up a lot in stories about the paranormal. People describe them as dark figures, sort of like human silhouettes, but they don't have any clear features. At least, you can't make out a face or anything like that. They're basically more quick passing shadows than anything you can touch or feel. Most of the time they're caught out of the corner of your eye, but here's the spooky part. The moment you try to look at them straight on, they vanish. Some people are said to get this eerie feeling, like an overwhelming sense of dread. However, not everyone's experience is the same. Some folks find them unsettling while others are just curious. As for where these shadow people come from, well, that's up for debate. There's no shortage of theories, let me tell you. This is just a cool video. Look at this absolute unit. The neck, shoulder muscles. This guy is eating good. You don't get that big by not being on your P's and Q's. Which makes me really curious where the guy is set up to get this clear of a video. Our next clip shows a photo of a creature that is said to have been freed from the Ice Age. The alleged Ice Age creature turns out to look more like a devil. The photo shows a creature that has a blue appearance with human-like arms and legs, a baby-like face, and an adult body. Conspiracy theorists and alien enthusiasts got ramped up for this one. Once this image was shared online, various theories emerged. Some, of course, arguing that he was from the Ice Age. Others said it was a relic from an ancient civilization frozen in time on Earth, while others believe it's an alien of cosmic origin, and just a few others trickling in saying it's just a kid covered in mud. And that's where the skeptics and logical thinkers come in. They were all suggesting this is just an elaborate hoax, possibly a photoshopped image. And looking at the photo, I can definitely see their point. While I think it would be awesome if we dug up something from the Ice Age, I just don't think this is it. I'm leaning towards this is just a little kid covered in mud. Check this out. While out for a walk, a young man comes across something odd. Something that is following right behind him. 
Hmm. What do we think about this? Due to the man's humorous reaction, many viewers are thinking this might be staged. And of course, we have the other side taking a different stance. Some people saying this is a pygmy and that they've had multiple experiences with them. Also, that these eerie figures are making more of a comeback now. I don't know. It's a little blurry. So, whether real or staged, there's an undeniably unsettling vibe about that little guy. The man was out walking on a trail at night when he saw a deer. It was strange because the deer was coming straight towards him. Surprised, he got his phone out and started to film it. Almost immediately, the deer ran away. But just before the man was about to holster his phone, the deer came back. Only this time, something was very wrong. Its neck looked like it was broken. It was twisted and deformed. Many people who saw the video said it could be a skinwalker. Skinwalkers are part of some Native American folklore. They are thought to be witches or people who have the power to transform into animals or take on animal-like features. These creatures are said to be evil, using their powers to frighten or harm people. Suddenly, people's comments about the video made sense. The deer's strange behavior, its sudden appearance and disappearance, and the horrible look of its neck it all fit the description of a skinwalker. Heck, the man was downright scared, and so were the viewers. They wondered if they just watched a real skinwalker caught on camera. The encounter turned from a strange wildlife encounter to a chilling brush with the supernatural. Let me know what you think about why this deer's neck was twisted like that. You can hear the strange howls that are coming from the woods, and more importantly, the howls seem, for the lack of a different way to say it, different. I'm starting to regret that I stopped at this rest stop. <laughs> They're obviously not from a human, and many commenters say they're from a wolf, but it doesn't seem as sharp as a wolf's howl to me. It almost sounds like an elephant, but most likely isn't. At the very least, this sounds like a much, much bigger animal than a wolf. Danny Ramirez is a truck driver that is parked for the night, and he finally whipped out his phone to record. And boy, is he glad he did. This video went viral with millions and millions of views. I'd love to know what you guys think about this video. The howls sound pretty dang creepy to me. I covered a similar happening a few videos ago. A man and his family lived out in the woods and had been experiencing some damage to their home, which they claimed was being made by Bigfoot. This TikTok here shows a reported Bigfoot looking into this person's home. You can see the eye shine so you know it's not a human. What could it be? Some people have said that it's just a curious bear, but I don't know. I guess it could be. I just can't see it though. Let me know what you guys think about this clip or if you've had any experience with something like this. I'm sure it has to be pretty unnerving. So in this next video clip, we get to see this really mysterious creature, all covered in what looks like a wild mess of hair. You can't see it too clearly, but it looks like it's having a tough time, like it's hurt or something. At first glance, you might think it's just a big beaver, but then it starts to move and man, it's pretty strange. The way it walks is unlike anything you'd normally see out in nature. It just adds to the whole mystery of what this creature might be. The person who filmed this did a good job of keeping a safe distance. 
Now, it's hard to say whether the creature knew it was being filmed. Maybe it sensed the guy there, but instead of getting defensive or angry, it just moved away quietly. That's kind of odd in my opinion. You'd think it might get scared or aggressive, but it was pretty relaxed about it all. Just kept doing its thing. Makes you wonder about its behavior and maybe even its intelligence. Despite looking strange and possibly being injured, it didn't attack or run off. Just went about its business. It's really something to think about while trying to figure out what the heck this creature is. Before we delve into this incredible story, think about this. Picture an alligator, 12 feet long, tipping the scales at around 500 pounds. This beast has the power to clamp down with an extraordinary force of 2,000 pounds per square inch. Our story today involves a Florida local who decided to take a swim in a place he shouldn't have and came close to losing his life. The entire ordeal was captured on video. Brace yourself, as it's not easy viewing, but stick with us because it ends on a high note. Even before this incident, no one could ever doubt the bravery of Juan Carlos La Verde, an ex-United States Air Force, pararescuer, a triathlete, and a firefighter paramedic. He also runs an outdoor adventure business. He was shooting a promotional video for an upcoming race that his company was sponsoring. This is where our drone footage picks up, capturing a huge 12-foot alligator heading straight towards him. The creature was enormous. This was no small gator. Had it been a small gator? We might be sharing a laugh right now, he recounts. But this situation was far from funny. Upon making a particular stroke, I felt rough skin and sharp teeth, and I knew right away what I was up against. My instinct told me to pry its jaws open. That's when I realized I was in the grip of an alligator, he explains, now speaking through wired shut jaws. With an enormous amount of courage, he plunged his hand inside the gator's mouth and fought for his life. When I felt the teeth, I instantly knew. As I was trying to pry open its mouth, there was a sense of confusion either I had moved it or it moved me. It was as confused as I was. Then, miraculously, it let go. Juan swam back to the dock, hoisted himself up, and was driven to a hospital by a good Samaritan, all while dialing 911. GC underwent a critical six-hour operation to address severe facial and skull injuries. Doctors had to remove part of his skull that had been penetrated by the alligator's teeth. He now wears a helmet to protect the right side of his head. Having been hospitalized twice already, he is due for more surgeries. His parting message to the viewers of this video? Seek your higher power. Oh God. Do Silly. No, I get that that's scary. I do. Good voice. Um, scary voice. So you could either carry that load by yourself or allow someone to carry it for you. His adventure business, aptly named Defeat X, took on a whole new meaning this day, with X being the alligator. He's grateful for the support and kind words he's received from everyone following the incident. Just an incredible story captured on camera. This video was taken in New Hampshire and sent into Rocky Mountain Sasquatch. I'll read the email that accompanied the video. Hi, my name is Justin and I live in New Hampshire. I have a video of what I believe to be a Bigfoot. The video is not mine, but belongs to a friend of mine who caught the creature while taking her dog out for a walk in the woods behind her house in the Bartlett area. She said while walking her dog, which is a Mastiff mixed dog, he started to act very out of character, as if he was almost afraid and refused to go any further. It was at this point that my friend said she started to smell something foul, almost like a dead and decaying body. 
That is when she caught a glimpse of something and pulled her phone out and started to record the video. Justin states there is another video of the encounter and is going to see if he can get it to send it in. I'd love to know what you guys think about this video. In the comments of the original video, many people say they know where this area is and that a Bigfoot could easily live there undetected. Some even say they've had their own encounters there. I feel like this is either a Bigfoot or a hoax. It's either one or the other and there are no other real scenarios. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. Incredible footage here as this killer whale stops a boat with his constant cries for help. This unusual behavior proves that he's very worried. One of the occupants realizes that he really is asking for help and she reaches out to calm the whale. A local rescue team was called in and showed up in a much smaller boat and the whale and his friends that had joined were visibly excited, swimming circles around the team. Moments later, they set off for open water. The team follows closely behind the orca pod while they approach a cave. Just after they came out of the other side of the cave, the young whale stopped. As you can see, a mother whale has been caught in a fishing net, and the rope and buoy are wrapped around her tail. Her children are wailing and staying right by her side. Rescuers are moved from the scene and cannot believe that the young whale had the wherewithal to find and stop a boat to get help. With everyone working together, they spring into action to free the mother whale. The whale is very cooperative, as if she can sense they are there to help her. They took out the scissors and were able to cut the rope and she's finally free. The young whales are very happy to see their mother freed and take off after her. Moments later, another pod joins the mother and babies, and they put on a uniform show of gratitude for the rescue. The mother killer whale actually got a manta ray and brought it to the rescuer's boat to try to give thanks. The rescuers and all involved said it was the most incredible experience ever. This is just absolutely unreal footage here. A puma ambushes a guanaco and the fight is on. Look at how strong the guanaco is. It's just flinging the cat around. Not to be outdone, the puma is unshaken and continues to hang on. When she gets shaken off, she flies back to the neck almost like a magnet. The guanaco knows that it can absolutely not let this cat latch onto her. Man, just an incredible camera capture. With all this chatter about aliens going around these days, it feels like nothing could really shock us anymore, right? But then, this video pops up. It was taken back in 2019 on a trail camera in Brazil. The man who owns the camera swears up and down he's never caught anything this weird before. The figure in the video looks just like an alien, and it kind of seems like it's sizing up the camera, trying to figure out what's what. Like it's never seen a trail cam before and it's just curious. But here's the kicker. Some folks are saying this alien was actually nabbed by the authorities. And wouldn't you know, they supposedly kept it on the down low didn't tell a soul. Stuff like this always makes me wonder. Let me know what you guys think about this trail cam capture. Is this real or just a fake? I'll never forget that night. It was October 2023 and I was camping solo in the deep wilderness of Northern California. It was a favorite spot of mine, far from the city and all its distractions. The thick tree canopy was like my own universe above me, 
and the only sound you'd hear was the rustle of leaves and distant noises of night creatures. I was at peace and for the first time in a long while enjoying the quiet. But that peace was disrupted around midnight. There was an unmistakable shift in the air, like a weight had settled over the forest. The cricket's chatter quieted. The occasional rustle of small critters in the underbrush ceased. The normal buzz of the wilderness gave way to unsettling, thick silence. You know that feeling, right? Like when you're waiting for something, but you're not sure what. It was that, but a hundred times worse. The recent comfort I found in the seclusion of the forest was replaced by this creeping dread. I felt watched. I felt like I wasn't alone anymore. The hairs at the back of my neck stood up. A shiver ran down my spine, and I could sense that something was off. It felt like the calm before a storm. It was as if the forest was holding its breath, waiting for what was about to unfold. That's when I saw it. This. Thing. It entered my little clearing, standing tall at six feet, easy. It was human shaped but had black feathers all over it. And the wings, man, they were massive. As large as its body, and when it spread them out, it was like some grim angel out of a nightmare. That's when I saw it a figure, ominous and out of place, entered my secluded clearing. Standing at least seven feet, it had a wiry humanoid silhouette. I remember squinting, trying to understand what I was seeing. It was covered in these black feathers, darker than the night itself, shimmering slightly in the glow of my dying campfire. Its body was eerily human-like, but twisted into something out of a grim fairy tale, a grotesque distortion of a man, and the wings. Those massive, ominous wings were unlike anything I'd ever seen. They were as large as its body, maybe even larger. When the creature spread them out, it was like watching a nightmarish sight. A dark angel expanding its wings in some twisted welcoming. The wings had a leathery sheen to them, like that of a bat, and they dwarfed the creature, creating an imposing figure that seemed to absorb the little light from the campfire. But it was the creature's eyes that froze me to the core. Imagine two glaring red lights piercing the night, searing themselves into your memory. They were large, almost unnaturally so, with an intense reflective quality that glowed menacingly in the dark. It was like looking at the brake lights of a car, intense and fiery. The rest of its face was lost in the shadow, a void where features should have been. But those eyes, those eyes were unforgettable. They bore into me, burning with a ferocity that turned my blood cold and made my heart pound in my chest. My mind was a whirlwind of panic and disbelief. I was rooted to the spot, caught in the dreadful gaze of this entity. It felt like time had come to a standstill, and I was stuck in this endless moment of paralyzing fear. I can't lie, I was scared out of my wits. It was the kind of terror that swallows you whole, the kind that makes your breath hitch and your skin crawl. I felt it in my bones. A primal fear that made every instinct in my body scream at me to run. But I was frozen, trapped in the spotlight of those infernal red eyes. Suddenly, survival instincts kicked in, cutting through the paralyzing fear. My hand shot out, grabbing the flashlight I had lying next to me, fumbling slightly with the switch. I managed to turn it on, a beam of light cutting through the darkness and landing squarely on the creature. I wish I could say it made a difference. I wish I could say the light drove it away, but it didn't. Instead, it was like shining a beam into an abyss. The creature was unfazed, standing its ground, its eyes burning even brighter in the light. And then, in a blink, it was gone, as if it had never been there. No dramatic exit, no grand show. Just the sound of wings beating against the air, growing fainter until it was swallowed by the silence of the night. I was left there, flashlight in hand, heart pounding, looking at the empty space where the creature had been moments before. It felt unreal, like a nightmarish illusion. But the lingering dread, the goosebumps on my skin, the sweat trickling down my back, it was all too real. My camping spot, once a place of solitude and peace, now held the ghost of the encounter, the shadow of my fear. 
I wish I could tell you that I simply brushed it off, shrugged it aside as some trick of the light or a hallucination brought on by too much solitude, but I can't. The encounter had shaken me to my core. It had stripped away my sense of safety, leaving me raw and exposed. My familiar camping spot now felt alien and threatening. Every rustle of the leaves, every flicker in the firelight, every sound in the silence sent a fresh wave of fear coursing through me. Sleep was out of the question. I spent the rest of the night huddled by the dying fire, my eyes darting around the dark edges of my clearing, waiting for the creature to reappear. Every second ticked by in a haze of fear and anticipation. Dawn couldn't come soon enough. When the first rays of sunlight filtered through the trees, I felt a small sense of relief. I packed up my things, my movements robotic, my mind still reeling from the previous night's encounter. The forest, bathed in the soft morning light, seemed to have regained some of its lost tranquility, but the echo of my fear still tainted its beauty. I couldn't shake off the feeling of being watched. The memory of those glowing red eyes burned into my mind. In the days and weeks following the encounter, I found it difficult to shake off the unease. Even in the safety of my home, I'd find myself looking over my shoulder, half expecting to see those glaring red eyes in the shadows. I had trouble sleeping, my dreams filled with black feathers and a faceless figure looming over me. The sound of wings beating would make my heart race, a cruel reminder of that dreadful night. My love for the outdoors, once my refuge had been tainted. I felt a strange sense of betrayal. My sanctuary turned into a stage for my deepest fears. I found myself unable to venture back into the wilderness, the thought alone enough to send me spiraling into anxiety. My encounter with the creature had left scars, not physical but psychological ones. Scars that made me question my safety, my sanity, and my love for the wilderness. The world, once filled with beauty and wonder, now held shadows of fear and uncertainty. It was a terrifying experience, one that still haunts me, one that has changed me in ways I never thought possible. As for me, I don't know what I saw that night, but I can tell you one thing, the forest isn't as quiet as it seems. There are mysteries out there, and some are better left unsolved. Recently, an extraordinary paranormal video was discovered and uploaded to TikTok. The event reportedly took place in a section of woods near a horse stable. The man that discovered this clip decided to investigate the area, and he happened to see a man working the nearby land. He decided to ask the stable worker about any unusual happenings in the area. The man said he has encounters with coyotes or similar creatures. However, as the conversation developed, the question of whether the man had ever observed anything he couldn't explain in these parts. Upon hearing this, the man's eyes lit up with intrigue. The stable worker shared that just the previous week, his friend had recorded a peculiar video in these very woods. The footage, which was uploaded on his friend's private Facebook page, couldn't be directly shared. So he had to actually record the video that was playing on a phone with his phone. This mysterious incident was shared with numerous people, none of whom were able to decipher the strange happenings in the video. The original uploader welcomes all comments and theories. He is legitimately looking for answers. What adds a layer of strangeness to the entire incident is that the person who captured the original video now refuses to return to those woods. Observing the video carefully reveals a dog growling and seemingly looking in the direction where the inexplicable event takes place. It's an absolutely bewildering piece of footage that continues to baffle everyone who watches it. The man says, quote, Opinions on what transpired are eagerly sought. So what say you guys does anyone have any explanation for the figure in the video? This is just an awesome video here. A man has traveled to Florida and to a place dubbed the most dangerous fishing pier in the world. He attaches a GoPro to a rope and tosses it under a pier, 
And what we see next is incredible. Almost as soon as he drops it in, we see a giant tail, unmistakably belonging to a shark. As the video continues, the water is super clear and we see all the bait fish. The bait fish are attracted to the algae and other small fish that feed off the pilings. So the small fish attract bigger fish, which attract even bigger fish to eat those fish and so on. The moral of the story is, there's always a bigger fish. Now the stars of this video start to show up. Massive tiger sharks are just swimming around this pier. The guy says this pier is covered with tiger sharks. They're everywhere. Which really is crazy, because there are people swimming only a few hundred yards away, and tiger sharks are known as being some of the most aggressive sharks around. However, it bears mentioning that they don't seem too interested in the people swimming, which would be a much easier snack than trying to catch these fish, I'm sure. He eventually pulls up the camera and goes to the end of the pier and he decides to drop the GoPro roughly 10 feet into the water and for all my fishermen out there. Yep, yeah, those are juvenile cobia. For those that don't know, cobia is some of the most fun fish to catch. Pound for pound, they are one of the strongest saltwater fish and put up a great fight. Obviously, the sharks are the stars of this clip. But if you caught one of those juvenile cobia's parents, that would be a lot more fun than hooking that shark. Nevertheless, awesome footage of the animal kingdom and go check this guy's page out. A seriously freaky video hit TikTok just a few days ago on June 12th. It's a piece of footage that sent shivers down people's spines because it showed something totally out of the ordinary. Something that felt like it was meant to stay hidden. The video came from a lady named Colleen, who was just spending an ordinary day inside her home when something caught her eye. While looking out her window, she noticed a bizarre sight that she just had to record. In the video, you can hear Colleen stating with a strange kind of acceptance, this is what I deal with all the time. What she was trying to show were these two semi-transparent shadow figures that were just barely visible but definitely there. She made it clear that she was actually seeing these weird shadows for real, insisting, I can literally see them with my own two eyes. The most unsettling part of this whole thing was the eerie stillness of these beings. They seemed to just stand there, silently watching her. This realization scared Colleen big time and left her clueless about what to make of it all. What's more, Colleen had mentioned that this wasn't the first time she had run into these spooky figures. She suspected that her house, or maybe the area around it, is haunted because she's had similar hair-raising encounters in the past. The footage she shared is absolutely bone-chilling. It feels like a scene straight out of a horror movie. But for Colleen, it's just another day in her inexplicably spooky life. The story unfolds in Deer Lodge, Montana in October of 2000. Don Bromley, an 18-year-old man, is managing a ranch equipped with over 100 motion detecting trail cameras designed to catch predators or potential trespassers. One particular morning, Don checks the feed from the cameras and finds an intruder quite unlike any he's seen before. As he studies the figure, a chilling feeling takes hold. The figure appears bipedal, but there's something off about its appearance. The head is too big, too misshapen, and something about it simply doesn't sit right. The figure incites curiosity, even doubt, over what it could possibly be. On closer examination, especially focusing on the odd size of the head, one might question if it resembles a human at all. John Johnson clarifies that the camera that caught this figure was situated miles away from any type of road or trail. Intrigued by the mysterious figure and unable to shrug off his unease, Don decides to go back and conduct a more thorough photo analysis. This exercise hits close to home, shedding light on how a human should look in comparison, 
leaving an unexplained figure in the image. The question arises, what exactly are we looking at here? Could it be a Bigfoot? Montana is renowned for its rich history of mysterious sightings, with Sasquatches topping the list. The state provides an excellent habitat for such creatures and has been known to be a hotspot for UFO activity as well. In fact, back in 1950, Montana is believed to be the location where a man named Nick Mariana made UFO history by spotting two shiny objects moving in the sky and even managed to film them with a 16 millimeter camera, a first as far as we know. So, do we think Don's camera captured something equally momentous? Could it be a Bigfoot, an extraterrestrial being, or something entirely new? The investigators decided to send Don's photo to their trusted forensic image analyst Michael for further examination. The first question he tackles is the authenticity of the image. Was it altered by Don? After conducting what is essentially an x-ray of the image, he discerns no signs of copy-pasting or other forms of manipulation. He receives no alerts from his image authentication software about any inconsistencies. The conclusion that they came up with is that the image is indeed a camera original. Now, I guess what that means is that the photo itself is unaltered, but as you know, there could still be some funny business going on. Let me know what you guys think about this. Here we have footage originating from Ontario, Canada, where we can see a group of boaters leisurely enjoying their time on the lake. Suddenly, a figure darts between the trees on the nearby land, its movements quick and fleeting, as if not wanting to be detected. It's not uncommon for wild creatures to be timid, so this behavior isn't all that surprising. However, capturing this exact moment on camera could be seen as suspiciously good timing. Adding a layer of intrigue to the video, curiosity peaked. The boaters decide to navigate closer to the shore, aiming to get a better look at the mystery creature. Watching the zoomed in version of the footage might help you understand their fascination. Can you see it? An almost ape-like figure can be spotted, even though there are no known apes in Ontario. A closer examination of the video leads to more questions. Despite the creature's ape-like appearance, it moves with a peculiarly human-like gait. Moreover, the creature seems to have a hunched posture, adding to its eerie appeal. What other being do we know that shares these characteristics? You've probably guessed it already, the elusive Bigfoot. Could this footage indicate the presence of Bigfoot in Ontario? This could be just one piece of the puzzle in a larger mystery. It does make us wonder though, could there be more than one of these creatures in these woods? Is it possible we're dealing with a whole community of these beings, cleverly avoiding human detection? Another point to consider is whether the boat's approach might have startled the creature, causing it to come out of hiding. Share your thoughts and theories on this. Is this a lucky sighting of the legendary creature or just another enigma waiting to be solved? On June 20th of 2022, a bone chilling video surfaced on the TikTok platform, setting the digital world abuzz. The video showed a group of friends experiencing the simple joy of a tree swing behind their house. The night was alive with their laughter, their attention fully engaged in the moment, oblivious to the ominous presence that was silently observing them from the shadows. This particular house, the setting of our spine tingling tail, was nestled in a remote location far from the hum of city life. The property was flanked by dense woods, giving it an isolation that only heightened the sense of unease. After also sharing the video to Facebook, it was a family member who first spotted the eerie figure in the backdrop. The realization that they had been under the scrutiny of this lurking entity had the family members living in a state of terror ever since. The knowledge that they were not alone, that a creature had been quietly watching their nocturnal fun, had the family members on edge. Despite some spectators dismissing the video as an elaborate hoax, the family insisted on their innocence. 
They maintained that they were genuinely unaware of the unsettling presence and vehemently denied any staging. A flurry of comments pointed towards the mythical creature known as the Rake. This creature, as the lore goes, is a thin, pale humanoid infamous for its nocturnal prowls in the woods. Whatever this creature was, its presence implied danger, reminding us of the unknown lurking in the darkness. Ever watchful, ever present, let me know what you guys think about this clip. We're faced with another intriguing incident that suggests the possible sighting of the elusive creature, Bigfoot. What we have here is a series of images taken by a trail camera from diverse angles. These pictures display an enormous fur-covered figure that could easily be mistaken for an ape at first glance. However, upon closer examination, it's clear this is something entirely different. The location where these images were captured is quite remote, devoid of apes, bears, or any other known creatures that might resemble this figure. Considering this, it's no wonder that many are pointing towards the possibility of this being Bigfoot. The area, replete with dense forests and lush grass, certainly provides an ideal refuge for such an elusive being. However, upon watching the video closely, you might notice an intriguing detail. A peculiar structure stands in the background, sticks or limbs arranged in the form of a teepee. Could the trail camera have merely captured a person building this structure, perhaps even disguised in a ghillie suit? Or on a more chilling note, could this be Bigfoot himself, constructing his own habitat? One detail to add to the intrigue is that we never get a definitive look at the creature's face in the clear daylight. This raises the suspense and leaves more room for speculation. We're left pondering, could this be the real deal? A genuine Bigfoot sighting? Or could it be just an elaborate prank meant to stir up a sensation? I've offered my perspective, but now I'm interested in yours. Is this evidence of the mythical Bigfoot? Or is it just another elaborate hoax? I'd love to hear your thoughts and theories, so if you would, please share with everyone in the comments section. In the chill of November 2022, an unnerving narrative began to unwind on the pastoral stretches of El Key Ranch. A family-owned land spanning over 13,000 acres just southeast of Meeker, Colorado. Here, amid the shadow of the scenic White River National Forest, began the mysterious saga of inexplicable cattle deaths. The Klingelsmith family, stalwarts of Meeker, guided the fates of this ranch. Known for their industrious spirit and commitment to nature, they were honored with the Wildlife Landowners of the Year Award presented by Colorado Parks and Wildlife. As autumn leaves began to turn, a startling discovery was made. 19 juvenile carcasses, accompanied by the remains of a fully grown cow, were found dispersed across the Klinglesmith's property, the majority of which were clustered within a hauntingly narrow radius of just 1.5 miles. An alarm was immediately sounded to the Colorado Parks Wildlife Team, as well as the Department of Agriculture Wildlife Services. The initial investigation led to disconcerting clues. The eerie absence of tails and bite marks bearing the signatures of canine teeth on numerous carcasses. As more calf corpses were found, the tally of the dead escalated to a staggering 42 within a fortnight, along with two sick calves thought to be victims of the lethal brisket disease. While the evidence hinted at wolf predation, doubts began to creep in casting shadows over conclusions. Was this gruesome act the work of wolves or the misdeeds of a more mysterious predator? Could this be the return of the infamous dogman, Chupacabra, or some other cryptid, rumored in hushed whispers? With these theories in mind, the decision was made to install and monitor trail cameras across the sprawling acreage of the ranch. It was a meticulous task but the hope was to capture visual evidence of the predator, natural or supernatural, that was stalking the LK Rant. 
For many a sleepless night, investigators vigilantly watched the footage. Their eyes weary from the glow of screens, showing the unending vista of Colorado's wilderness. Days bled into nights and nights into days as the trail cameras whirred and clicked, documenting every stir of the wind, every shadow cast by the moon, and every creature that happened to wander into their view. Each rustle of the underbrush sent hearts racing, only to be deflated by the sight of a harmless deer or a foraging raccoon. Never any wolves. A chilling pattern emerged from the jigsaw of macabre evidence. Signs of wolf predation were scarce among the remains, intensifying the mystery shrouding the incident. Despite considerable efforts, authorities were left scratching their heads, contemplating theories ranging from wolf attacks to more sinister, unknown factors. The spectral specter of a hidden predator seemed to lurk just beyond their grasp. Further investigation pointed to a more terrestrial, yet elusive villain, a soil-borne bacterium, Clostridium chauve, notorious for causing black leg disease in cattle and sheep. Yet the puzzle was far from solved. What provoked the sudden outbreak of this deadly pathogen, causing a surge in cattle deaths? Rumors started to take flight, weaving tales of a mysterious creature lurking in the shadows, striking fear and uncertainty into the hearts of many. The land had seen such terror before. Throughout the early 1970s, Colorado had been the stage for a disturbing series of livestock deaths and mutilations, leaving a legacy of fearful legends among cattle producers. As media coverage on the recent deaths surged, speculation ran wild, fueling rumors of extraterrestrial intervention and satanic cults, a haunting echo of the past mysteries. Despite detailed autopsies and extensive lab tests, the results remained inconclusive, offering no firm answers to the mystery of the cattle deaths. Authorities found themselves teetering on the edge of uncertainty, navigating a quagmire of doubts and unproven theories. With no clear culprit in sight, the investigation eventually wound down in February, leaving behind a tangled web of questions and theories. Despite the chilling tales and rumors that had swept across the state, the mystery of the Meeker cattle deaths persisted. In the absence of concrete proof, the problem of the silent predator remained unresolved. Even as the saga drew to a close, the lingering echoes of fear and uncertainty remained leaving the tale of the mysterious cattle deaths in Meeker, Colorado, an unsolved mystery, the echoes of which would continue to haunt the tranquil landscape for years to come. The only thing I could say, an investigator told the media, is that there was zero evidence of traditional wolves. Now, that is a pretty crazy story. As you can see from the pictures, many of the cattle seem to be uneaten. Stuff like this always makes me wonder about the chupacabra. While they traditionally prefer goats, these cows might have fallen victim to the blood-sucking beast. Let me know what theories you all have to explain this.